Open your head. I cut my hair. It's not even making executive decisions. Let me look at you. You get it? <laughs> yeah, now! My name's Gregory. Hi, I'm Ray. And this is The Other in Brown. We are going to talk to our childhood selves. What would you say to 14-year-old you? For me? Sure, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> 14, that's going into high school, right? I think so. That sounds right. Yeah. I was stressed out, man, about life, about high school and going into it. Breathe and, like, actually do your homework. Because I stressed. Yes. Oh no, you have an assignment today. <laughs> <laughs> this is all funny because it's me. <laughs> like I would tell 14 year old me, it truly does get better. About everything. 12 to 15, I really suffered with depression. I guess a 14 year old me like didn't really feel like I had a place. I had a lot of friends. I still felt very different from everyone. That was like an overwhelming feeling. It just was rough. High school. I set up this hierarchy so strong. Freshman, sophomore, junior, senior. I cannot talk to these people. I cannot talk to these people. At my lunch table, I was a freshman. It was two sophomores and a junior. I was like, this is cool. But everybody else, I can't. You have to talk to me because you're older. That's how it works. Uh, that's leaving me with like no friends. I wasn't that, but I was extremely insecure. I had a lot of opinions about everything. Y'all know them little Facebook memories that be popping up. The most recent one, me talking about everyone saying the phrase, that's so gay. Arguing in the comments section, but like nothing was fact-based. Shouldn't say it! I didn't have educated opinions. I just had opinions. I talked so much. I just needed to listen. We were just too different people. Some people from my high school who may watch these vlogs are probably like, what the, who the, f I don't know that mother, what? Isn't like you're that different? Yeah, yeah, most that Wild. I say I would do plays and stuff, so they'd sit me on stage. Some of them would talk to me afterwards in class or something. Oh, like I saw you in that play. Oh yeah, thanks. You were good. Thank you. Bet I'ma go. <laughs> I'ma go over here yeah. to my work. Yeah. I wouldn't have liked you. <laughs> you probably would. We would not like, have been friends. I'm telling you, it's just like it took me a long time to warm up to a person. I don't know you. Why are you talking to me? I don't understand. I should have been more open as a child. We're both in high school, both don't know nothing. And then my eye like a little fro at one point. I do miss the sound of picking and the feeling of a pig. I don't like the sound you of picking. It makes me like think I'm like ripping my hair out. I think that's what I liked about it. <laughs> I don't even use a, a comb almost ever. Do you like do the, the root? The root? The root. The root. I do the root and that's it. I think part of my issue was I was really weird. I still feel like I'm weird and I embrace it. Now I know my levels of weird and I know what is to be displayed and what do I keep for myself. Exactly. I'm kind of awkward in general. Oh, for real? Think you're funny? No. I had a whole serious relationship in high school and I'm still trying to figure out how that happened. <laughs> <laughs> a serious high school relationship. It was such a mess. If you're watching this video and you know who you are, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. But overall, I would tell younger me, just brace yourself. I think that's just for everybody. I dumb myself down a lot. I try not to say certain words. Just use all the big words you want. Talk how you want to talk. This growing up is hard to do. I swear. <laughs> Many a transformations. Who knows what's next, but I'm content with where I'm at now. I'd say all those whack youthful experiences I had brought me here. I'm fine. I'm fine with that too. Good, good, good. Buddy. Friend. Oh, trim of mine. <laughs> <laughs> Looking all light skin in this No, you don't. <laughs> If I was, in fact, without booty, it don't matter what pants I wore, there would be no booty. So what I'm saying is that I'm thick and I know it. <laughs> Dang, Gregory.